Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video on the Eternal Light YouTube channel. Just for game, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video to show you support. And other than that, let's begin. So today I am going to be showing you the mummified set from set one of Eternal Light, which should be coming out eventually. I'm still working hard on it, guys, so uh, please be patient. <laughs> uh, it's coming. Uh, the mummified set consists of nine cards, exactly the same as the Goofy set. And uh, other than that, let's get straight into it. So first off, we have the location card for this set, which is Ancient Pyramids. Uh, there's some nice artwork there with like the sun burning up on the uh, sides of the pyramids there, just to create that little effect. And uh, the ability on this is once per turn, you can discard one card and add one Mummify Warrior from the afterlife to your hand. So what this does mainly is when you have this uh, activated, uh, the whole purpose of uh, mummified cards is like because obviously like the mummified, like mummified's all about bringing like it's sort of like resurrecting in a way, like bringing the dead back to life, and this is kind of just preventing your warriors from staying in the afterlife. So it's a really good effect, and instead of like boosting damage or defense, it's ensuring that you keep all of your mummified cards on you without losing them. Uh, next, you may see this for this is a uh, mummified machine, which is the sort of like main card in the set. Uh, this is a level 10 rare warrior, a uh, soldier, yes. Um, ability is discard one card from your hand and add any warrior with mummified in its name to your hand from the afterlife. You can only use this ability once. So it's the same as the field, but if you didn't need this card specifically, you needed a different one, uh, you could use it and you could possibly use it combined with ancient pyramids to uh, use it twice in one turn which is really good and you've got 100 damage and 120 defense which is pretty decent for a level 10. Next you've got mummify mannequin which is a soldier again level 5 common. Uh, the ability is if this warrior is destroyed by a battle your opponent cannot draw the next turn so it's a really good card to put into say defense and let the opponent destroy it so that they cannot draw and it's preventing them from getting all their cards out and it's Pretty good card on its own. Uh, we have only 60 damage and 50 defense, but it's sort of like an equalizer, just being fair with the stats there. And same with Mummify Machine, really. Uh, there's no like really big damages defenses. So next we got Mummify Medic, which is one of the new ones. Uh, this is another soldier, level five common. Ability, you gain five life points for every Mummify Warrior you control every turn. And that includes Mummify Medic. So uh, if Mummify Medic's the only one you have out and you know, like you don't have any others, you could still gain five life points just from having him out. And he's got 15 damage and 60 defense. So he's better to have in defense, realistically. Uh, next, we got Mummify Gunslinger, which is my favorite in terms of the art with his little pink revolver there. <laughs> I think that's purple, that's not pink. So yeah, uh, he's a soldier at level five rare. And the ability is this warrior cannot be targeted for attacks by any level 25 or higher warrior. So level 25 and 30s cannot attack him, which is pretty good for if your opponent is like has really strong warriors out and you need to get a warrior out there to ensure that you can't attack. Well, to ensure that you have warriors out there for getting bigger ones out. But uh, the downside to this is this does not prevent direct attacks. So if you, your opponent has a level 30, you have this guy out in a damage or defense position, uh, your opponent can attack you directly still. So it's kind of like you've got nothing out there, but you still have. Uh, he's got 85 damage and 15 defense. Next, we have the Mutation Warrior in this set, which is a legendary. And this is Mummified Maniac. And you can tell by that he's like, got all these like, sort of like bandages like falling off of him like rising up to power a uh, soldier a mutation level 30 legendary and the ability is this warrior cannot be summoned in defense mode if this warrior is changed to defense mode it's destroyed so it can never be in defense mode unless you've got like a really good ability card that like so like negates the ability uh, currently there isn't any, but <laughs> uh, damage is 300, which is the highest out of any Eternal Light card so far, and zero defense. So that's him anyway. Pretty strong and pretty kill card. And now we onto the ability cards. We have Advanced Mummification with a bit of a mummified machine in the artworks there. Uh, this is the ability card common. Select and add one mummified warrior from your deck uh, to, your to your hand. Yeah. So that's just a way of getting uh, mummified warriors out quickly there, which is pretty decent. Next, we've got Ancient Power with like all these like parts, like just chained up, like ready to use, ready to go. And uh, this is the mutation card for Mummified Maniac. And this is send any free mummified warriors from play or your hand to the afterlife and summon Mummified Maniac from your special deck. So it has to be free, but it can be any mummified card, which is really useful from this. And it makes Mummified Maniac easy to get out. 
Uh, the last card in the set is Contact with the Dead. This is a, a really good card. I like this. You've got the pyramids in the background there. Uh, the ability common is if your opponent controls a warrior and you do not, select one with five warrior in either place after life. So if your opponent's using the same deck, you can select one of theirs as well. Uh, summon it to your side in damage mode. So that's it for this set. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I will be doing a few more, so keep your eyes out on the channel for that. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what set you'd like to see next as well, if there's any particular set you'd like to see, like a light, dark, anything like that. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already uh, to see more of the latest of Turnlight videos. And other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.